What's up, everybody? Sky Spider here. Uh, so today we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. I've got scorpions, I've got centipedes, I've got some spiders. Let's have some fun. First scorpion we're going to be doing today. This is the male Hottentata Franz Wernerei that I had uh, cohabiting with Timna. She has gotten a little bit, a uh, little bit of more aggressive lately, and uh, that's telling me she might be ready to drop some babies on me. Let's see if he's hungry. You want some food, buddy? I don't know. All right, maybe we'll have some more luck with this death stalker. Though I think most of my death stalkers are fasting at the moment. Oh, never mind. Ooh, that sting did not look pleasant. And we're pretty much dead. God, that venom is scary. Seriously, guys, I can't stress it enough. Do not get scorpions like these unless you know what the fuck you are doing. They can kill you. It is very easy for it to happen if you're careless. The only reason I can work with them is because I've been working with arachnids and stuff like this for more than two decades. I should really make a disclaimer. Hopefully you guys saw a disclaimer before I started the hot animals. We'll see if I actually remember to do that or if stoner brain takes over and I forget it by the time I start editing. But by saying this now, there's a chance I might remember it later because I'll hear it played back. That's how you become a functional stoner, I think. Take notes. And if you guys don't know why I smoke weed, Scroll down a little bit to the FAQ video where I go into detail about my disabilities and what I have to do to compensate. It's not exactly pleasant. Okay, this is pretty much over. Yeah, let's go ahead and go on to the next one. If it's a soggy enclosure, you know it's Prismo. One of my cute little tropical scorpions. Here you are. Oh, she's so cute. I really hope I've got the species I think I do that's supposed to be parthenogenic. Unfortunately, scorpions and imports can be a little weird on labeling. Let's see if we want a cricket today. You want a cricket? There we go. I knew I could get her to take it if I tried a little. That cricket isn't even stung. Why is it acting like it's dead? Weird. Well, anyway, Prismo. Enjoy your food, you gentle little cutie. So this is a new one on the channel. Uh, this was a gift from a friend of mine, uh, Centroides limbatus. And it's a little baby that one of his just gave birth to after he had it imported. If you're having trouble seeing it, there we go. A little bit of glow for you. 
Sorry, trying to line up a camera and a flashlight here. There we go. So yeah, cute little uh, Asian bark scorpion, I believe. Uh, Venom's pretty mild on them for scorpions, but uh, still don't want to be stung. And I think this guy's going to get up to about three or four inches. Pretty cool. Okay, like I usually do with Timna here. I have not lifted the cork bark before turning the camera on, so if I get surprised, we're going to be surprised together. Nope, no babies yet. Soon. Soon, Timna. I am going to check to see if she's hungry. Are you hungry? You want to cook it? Are you running away from the cricket you're holding on to? Sometimes the scorpions do weird shit. And this is it. I don't know if she realizes she's got a cricket in a death grab. So you're running away from the cricket you're holding. That would be very silly. Oh my god. What am I going to do with you, Timna? Yeah. Luckiest cricket in the fucking world. Alright, sweetie. I'll leave you be. Make me some babies. Alrighty, let's check on our little laser tag friend here, Phage. Hi, Phage. Still trying to track down a boyfriend for this little lady. Don't think she's going to eat this week, but I'm going to try anyway. Boop. Yeah, no interest at all. All right, Paige, I'll put your hide back. And right back under it. Hey, it's our favorite fat tail, Damia. Are you hungry this week? Yep. That was an easy catch. I don't think she even stung that. I'll have to look back on the uh, the video. I think she just grabbed it and basically bit its head. Hey, save that venom. I'll let you know if I have anyone I need you to use it on. Should probably put a little disclaimer that that was sarcasm and humor. I would never do something like that. And of course, we got more Death Stalkers. Let's see if this one wants to eat this week. Boop. That looks like a big old no. I don't give up that easy, though. Okay, now I'll give up. It's two refusals. Oh well, keep being pretty. Keep growing. Pretty sure this is going to be a boy. Can you mature before Phage dies, please? Today, while we try to feed Tessa, I'm going to tell you guys about something kind of neat from Magic. So Tessa is my favorite character in Magic. Her and uh, Elspeth. And uh, I've always had a Tessa commander deck. Whoop. Came back with just a cricket leg. Let's try this again. So yeah, Tessa's always been one of my favorites. Why the scorpion's named after her. I think I just scared her. Okay. She's not hungry right now. So, uh, yeah, I've always had my Tesa deck. 
And uh, this month, with the new release of the fourth version of Tesa, I built a commander deck that used all four Tesas, called it Oops All Tesa. It ended up being more board wipes than anything actual functional, though it almost did win with a few infinite combos. But yeah, it's getting taken apart. It was just a funny little gimmick. But yeah, little Tesa here just made me feel like telling it. Keep being grumpy, cutie pie. This is going to be my last scorpion for today. This is uh, Subisi. Another fat tail. Who is definitely hungry. Holy crap. Scorpion's are really, really tiny, by the way. This is not an easy shot to get. Oh, got to clean our claws in the sand. I always think that's kind of cute. It's like they're washing their hands before they eat. Oops, still dirty. Looks good to me. But yeah, that cricket is stone dead. Fat tails are absolutely no joke. And there you go, so you see, have fun. It's always neat watching them chew. It's like an extra set of claws. Most people never notice that they have. And beautiful Hawaiian centipede. Will we see her face while she eats today? Maybe, because she's sideways. Taking another couple crickets while we're filming. Usually do a few crickets a week here since they're smaller feeders. Yep, almost no face view. Oh well, keep being pretty. Can't wait for another molt so his legs turn bright blue again. Man, that's going to be a pretty video. On to the spooters. So this girl's already pretty chonky and doesn't need much of a meal today. I'm just going to give her a smaller cricket. Apparently I gave her a smaller cricket that was holding hands with another one. But yeah, that'll be good enough for her for next week. I think she's got a molt coming here in a couple more months. See if we get to see this apophysis come out for some crickets. They ran about a dozen for it. Oh, poor cricket. That is not the dragon you want to challenge. Did she just kick hairs at a cricket? Oh, that's a new one. Normally, Therophosa, I go. Crazy for a lot of crickets. I'm gonna grab every one. Oh, there we go. We got another one. So yeah, this seems to be the trend of today. They're gonna eat inside their burrows. Probably as soon as I put this back on the shelf, it'll come out for a happy dance. So who is ready for a Theraphosa Sturmi feeding frenzy? going to give this girl a uh, big batch of uh, crickets all at the same time. It's about a dozen or so. Oh, we are off to the races. She's going to try to grab every one of these. And she is going to succeed. Still looking for a male for this female. If any of you out there have one, give me a shout. Because we definitely want to breed her this year. She just molted a couple months ago. She is ready to go. Oh, 
Ooh, she's missing out on a couple of them. Normally they'll go flying over the whole enclosure when I do this. While we are sitting here watching, I'm going to fill up the water dish. And as you can see, Theraposa enclosure means extra moist. She does have a dry spot, though, though she never uses it. Hey, Grimace is out and about. Vermictopus usually give just as good a feeding frenzy as Theraphosis. Let's see what we can get here. About a dozen medium crickets. There we go. That is what I like to see Grimace. See if she goes for another one here. God damn, that's a pretty spider. No, we're not going to go crazy for all of them like you normally do. Are you doing this just because you're on camera today? You little dork. Okay, we're not going to go for all of them like I was hoping. I know she'll get to all of them, though. She's still got a lot of abdomen to grow. Well, at least we got to see her catch one. Hey, look, it's freshly malted meatball. God, she's a pretty girl. She is going to get some crickets right now in the hopes that she will be ready to breed either later tonight if she's done eating or tomorrow otherwise. You want to dig for it, cutie? I swear, that pink is just so pretty. Really hope our breeding is successful. The species is just awesome. It needs to stick around. Okay, I've been sitting here for quite a while. I'm just going to let her eat if she wants to. Uh, if it's going to take her a while to catch these, I'm guessing we're going to be doing the breeding tomorrow. But this isn't the only breeding I'm doing tonight. Oh, meatball, you're so sweet. Seriously, one of my friendliest spiders. And she's just so pretty and floofy. Yes, you are. Man, as she walks past, look at how that color changes as the angle of the light changes. Structural colors are so cool. So my last tarantula today is sitting in her burrow. This is Ishkana. And I think if I throw in a whole mess of crickets, she's probably going to come out while catching them. So she's my other breeder tonight. Hopefully she'll be able to eat most of these crickets by then. Oh, there she is. So we've been trying with this species for a couple years now. Hopefully this year is our year. Grandma Stolas can be a little tricky to breed. I mean, some really specific requirements. So if all goes well tonight, when we get a good pairing, I'm going to be reducing the temperature on her to about, about 50 to 60 degrees if I can. And then uh, hopefully that encourages her to produce an egg sac.
Also, if you notice, she doesn't have as much trouble catching crickets as she does with the uh, large roaches. So her glycerate clearly work. She just has a little bit of difficulty with the big stuff. Again, that's from a uh, little bit of a problem from her last molt, I believe. She didn't have that problem before. But yeah, let's leave her alone to uh, eat some crickets. And then hopefully you guys will be seeing a video in the next couple days of her pairing with her male. Keep your fingers crossed for me and for her. All right, that is basically everything I want to do today. I don't know what the hand gestures are for. Just never know what to do with my hands, um, even though they're not even on camera. Um, so we got some good centipedes. We got scorpions. We got a bunch of the big ones. Um, yeah, not a bad day in the bug room. Um, I'm going to go downstairs and take some Tums because uh, spicy food is something I haven't had in years, and I'm trying to get back into eating it again. It's not going very well so far. Fucking sucks. I love spicy food. But uh, anyways, I will see you guys on the next one. So take care and be nice to bugs. Thank you.